billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ati Allah Ati Rasul Aulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and an abdukul aji sada'if of miskeen of zalim of jahad <coughs> but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah Allah granted us a blessed life to see this holy month and to see these holy nights and to <coughs> take from the love and the soul and the reality of Imam Jafar as Sadiq and that a custodian of immense knowledges of heavenly knowledges and knowledges of sharia and the two wings that he brings into the tariqah, the two nuqhs, the taking from one nuqh of the family inheritance and one nuqh from the holy companion's inheritance and brings the, the two nuqhs over the qaf to bring the secret and realities of these two streams into the dressing of the tariqah. It's the naqaf is qain, sorry, the G with the two dots, qain, what the Sallallahu said inshaAllah. That these two nuqhs represent these two streams of reality that bring the secrets of Ahlul Bayt and secrets of Holy Companion into Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah and become the soul of tariqahs, the immensity of the secret and the blessings that Allah gave to the tariqah by these holy souls bringing their reality to that stream and dressing that stream of knowledge from what Allah has given to them to make and sanctify the reality of Naqshbandiyya tul aliyya and that that dressing, that blessing is the immensity of this inheritance, this responsibility that we carry, this love that we carry and all those whom are listening to Naqshbandiyya tul aliyya. It's an immense gift, immense gift and all these talks of what people want and all the emails that are coming in of, of what people want and then becoming upset with the Divine when they don't get what they want and they never really learned to want what they have. And when life is, is so preoccupied with what you want, it's as if you put blinders on your eyes and your heart. And you're like a horse running in only the direction of your own will and that becomes the immense danger. Then when we want something and we want it so much that it preoccupies everything about us and shaitan encourages that behavior, pushes the heart towards that reality that keep wanting it, keep wanting it, keep wanting it until it becomes like a horse with a blinder on and sees nothing else but what it wants. And then it becomes a religion in which the person believes that Allah submits to them and that everything should be given to the way they want. And tariqahs come and awliyaullah inspire within all our hearts that leave what you want but want what Allah has given to you, nourish that gift before you ask for any more presents, bring out the reality of that gift before you ask for anything because you have to have a khushya, a, a softness, a, a, a trembling within the heart and, and rise above heedlessness when somebody is rijal is, is entering a path of maturity whether man or female, a state of maturity, they have a, a taqwa and consciousness of the Divinely Presence, they have a shyness and humility towards Allah I'm ashamed to ask for more 
when I haven't praised you and thanked you for what you gave to me. And that's why we study the tariqah, study the golden chain. There are actually audio books we have on the website of the, the 40 shaykhs which are the pillars of the tariqah, the secret and the inheritance is our actually our family tree. The mother and father that brought you into this world is of a physical means but the one whom you're related to in the spiritual world is the tariqah and the grand shaykhs of the tariqah. Had you not been related to them there's no way that you would be sitting in this association hearing any talks from this association. Even if you sat in this oasis for five minutes and left you have a relationship with those souls and they meant for you to hear, they meant for you to be dressed, they meant for you to take from your inheritance. It's like your grandfather give you, it's not even a little but give you a golden coin from paradise and others he may give many, many coins and their life is in tariqah and all its realities. But there's nobody eating and drinking from that fountain of reality that's not connected to them by soul. And as a result, this is our inheritance, this is our gift, this is what God has given to us that you don't know its value is He's inspiring within our hearts. You don't know the value of what I have given to you. And all that you're asking me for has distracted you from what I have given to you. Because people become angered when they ask and it's not coming. Then shaitan make them to go here and go there and, 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 and run around for every type of uh, thing that they think that can make something to come to them. And the reality that they're reminding within our souls is that you have to want what Allah gave to you. And, and not the dunya part of what He gave to you but your spiritual path is what He gave of the tariqah and the shaykhs and the teachings. You have to cherish it, you have to live by it, you have to honour and respect it. When a servant honours and respects what Allah has given to him, given to her, then Allah begins to grant that servant, raise that servant, dress that servant. It's very simple, imagine you gave something immensely, immensely blessed by you, something cherished by you and you come and you give it to a loved one. They put it on the ground and then begin to walk over it. You come back like a, a week later they're walking on it, they don't even recognize what you gave to them. The, the level of insult and injury that begins to occur and then you wonder, oh why would I ever do anything for this person again? And they don't and Divine is, is giving us a, a symbolism that before you ask me for anything. Have you thanked me for what I gave to you? Have you cherished what I gave to you? Have you nourished and respected what I gave to you? Before you ask for anything else, clear your plate, forget all of what shaitan is distracting us with and we go back to the basics. Say, Ya Rabbi what you gave to me of this tariqah and its immensity. And how this tariqahs and these realities are a life from the heart of Prophet and you gave me the immense love. Now you're getting closer to immense secrets, immense reality. And with that love and that ishq I'm finding you even deeper and deeper. And Allah reminds, I was a hidden treasure and I am a hidden treasure and your life is to find that. And if you found that treasure, do you cherish it, do you respect it, do you give all your ihtiram and tashrif? Means you, you, you live a life on how am I going to honour this secret? When we do that and we truly do that and we do it with everything, with our breath, with قُلْ إِنَا salati wa suqi wa mamati wa ma yahya wa inna ma yahya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. 
with my life, with my death, with my prayers, everything, I'm going to show that love and that respect Ya Rabbi of what you gave to me of my tariqah. So the tariqah is the door to all of this. You don't find that love for Prophet without tariqah and ahl dhikr These are the tools in which you have to be a person on the path of cleaning and the path of praising. And when Allah sits you in the association of the cleaning and the praising, then He has given you the greatest gift. And that gift is about to unload immense treasures upon the soul. But then we put it on the ground and we begin to walk on it. And then we begin to ask for everything else, we want this, we want that, we want this, we want that. And that's where the difficulty begins to occur and that's when shaitan begins to play with people. That they're so preoccupied in asking for something and now become distracted with every asking, asking, asking but they lost the real focus is to cherish the secret that Allah has given to us. When Allah sees that we cherish that secret, we respect it, we put it like a crown upon our head. We kiss it. Imagine if everybody was given to be a custodian of the holy hair of Sayyidina Muhammad How many people would respect it? Everyone says, oh I would, I would, I would. Well then why don't you respect the tariqah? Live a life that the tariqah is the mu'a mubarak, it's everything. It's the school that describes all these realities. It's a seat into the presence of that reality. When we live our life with that respect, with that ihtiram, with, with that, that tashrif in which I want to honour everything about that reality, now we're drawing close. At that time the servant doesn't have to keep asking because he's showing or she's showing with their good character how much they love and appreciate what Allah has given to them. And as a result they don't need to ask because Allah begins to give them more because they're thankful. Allah didn't say, ask me for more and I give you more, He said, thank me, thank me and I give you more. They didn't say, keep asking for more. So it means the tariqah has come to teach this reality especially those whom have been given a seat within that reality. They've been given a seat within the tariqahs means to achieve. Now Allah put you in that seat, what are you going to do with it? And that becomes the extent and the immensity of that blessings. We pray that Allah inspire us to understand and for people to rise, rise and awaken within that reality. But they look left and right and say, this person is not doing anything, I'm doing so much, that one's not doing anything, I'm so much. But that's all a distraction. Each grave has one person in it and that one person has an ability to raise themselves if God has guided them. And if He guides them towards immense blessings because it's not meant for everyone, then what are you going to do with it? So we take off the table all these things that we want and learn how to cherish what Allah has already given to us. Those who hear my voice and see our face, it's all of us because you're seated at this table, seated at these circles and viewing these realities and as a result that brings tremendous blessings in our lives. That answers so many emails that are coming in about this, about that, about concerns, about problems. <clears throat> All of it goes back. If you look at the secret of every interaction that's coming to you, the emails come back and say, meditate. That's the foundation of what we're talking about. If you don't sit and make tafakkur and contemplate, slow down and realize what God has given to you. When you connect your heart all of it is based on this reality. Cherish what you've been given before you keep spending your life asking. 
that answers all our emails. What about this problem, that problem? Okay, but why don't you focus on what Allah has given to you? Instead of focusing on your problems and difficulty, you can go one by one and think, Jay, I'm having so many, so many health problems, please make du'a for me. What would be then the answer? Are you cherishing what Allah has given to you? How? By meditating. Stop, connect your heart with the shaykhs and make your connection. If you're not connecting, how could you possibly be understanding these teachings? How could you be reaching this world of light? How would you know anything about the tariqah? So means you didn't care for the tariqah, you just care to keep asking questions and sending emails. And this can be in the thousands. Every email, every question can easily be answered by, go back and make your connection. Stop your busy life, stop all your complaints, make your meditation, make the connection. If you're sick, make your connection. Say, Ya Rabbi, I'm connecting my heart, I want the fires of the shaykh, I feel the presence of the shaykh. As you're making that presence, you're doing your zikr, you're doing your practices, you're doing your energies and I want to support. I don't have a job, somebody emailed, I have nothing, I have no job, I'm not coming anymore to the zikrs because I don't have any money to give to people. This is a, a naughty thing to say from your fingers and your mouth. Everything being taught at this school and these teachings are free. There's not one penny asked from anyone. There's 2,000 videos online, not one of them have a membership where you have to pay. But the teachings of the tariqah is if you liked it then why not support it? And if you don't have the ability to financially support it, well then press click and send. Send the video and share it. Everybody and we've given many talks on that, everybody has an ability to participate, to show their love. You love something, you don't have the ability, you don't have a job, you, you don't have a means but you want Allah's attention, take it and share it. Send it to a chat group, join a group and start posting so that you get Allah's attention, you get Prophet's attention that you're trying to do something positive in life. Imagine this world is burning and every talk and every teaching is like a drop of water that you're trying to spread hope. Well that's an immense charity. Immense charity. But when people just want to be negative and throw sarcastic comments out, it goes back to this same reality. You don't really understand what Allah's given to you. When Allah gives you a seat at the tariqahs and then you're sitting and listening to the immensity of their uloom and their knowledges that you can't find on other YouTube channels, you can't find anywhere. And there's no pride in it because even the one speaking doesn't understand it where it's coming from. So it's not from a channel based on this earth, it's a gift from Allah from the heart of very, very holy souls. And as a result it comes and we take it like a plate of gold and then what am I going to do with this uloom and this knowledge, Ya Rabbi dress me from it, bless me from it and let me to live by it. And as a result let it to dress my soul and bless my soul and begin to bless my family, my children and my community. And as a result of that dress and that light begins to change the person. So everything is all connected, <coughs> everything that's coming in its solution is to cherish what Allah's given to you. How can you cherish that which you don't even understand? Then you go back and you connect that, I don't understand, I don't understand this reality and it's not for my brain and it's not for my physicality, I need to learn how to connect my soul with the shaykh. And as a result of connecting my soul there's a being inside you that does understand and it's not your physical but it's your spiritual. Your physical being only knows profit and gain happy and sad, only knows from the physical dimension. The spiritual being is the one that 
connects. The spiritual being is the one that needs to be fed with these lights and these energies. The spiritual being is the one that can receive these energies. And all these talks of on and off and giving it in every possible way to be motivated. It's coming with the tremendous rahmah. We, we listen to something posted six months ago, just got posted recently again about the secret of duality of light. That there's a particle reality which manifests and the wave which is the reality in which you don't manifest and is not seen. And that's, that's again related to the same binary. If you're on, you're a particle. If you're off and learned how to be off and shut off, you can enter into the wave reality. And there is no one that can represent tariqah unless they reach to their wave reality and they mastered the state of being off and negation. Particles, they don't benefit the tariqah, those are just boxes that talk. There's no energy and no juice running through their reality. So it's not a particle state. Particle state can be 99% of the population, anyone can open a YouTube now and be a particle orator, right? Even my kids can open a YouTube and give talks. And that's what's so crazy about it now because now nobody has any background and that they quote here, they quote there, so who's that person? Well, where did they get a degree? Where, where are they quoting from? And it's just copy and paste from other things and that's the danger that now all the particles are talking and they just keep giving advice. But the state of tariqah and the reality of tariqah doesn't mean that everyone's doing that. But what was meant by the reality of the turuqs was these were the schools in which to show people to be nothing. The school it was to teach you how to be a nuqt and how to reach your wave reality. And as a result of that training you'll begin to feel the immensity of life, the blessings of life and begin to realize the immensity of what Allah has given to us. And with that light and that love and that respect begins to fill the servant then imagine what Allah is dressing them, that I was a hidden treasure and you found me. And as a result I send an ease to you, a love to you, a light to you, a blessing to you. I send every emanation upon you because you are happy and understood the reality and I'm happy that you understood the reality. And that soul returns onto his Lord happy and pleased. And Allah happy and pleased with the reality of that soul. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us in the immensity of this, this weekend and these souls and the immensity of what Imam Jafar Sadiq represents of, of these realities and secrets from the depth of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And by their love and respect and this life of service is what brings and nourishes this reality like a seed that blossoms within the heart of the immensity of their uloom, their knowledges and their ishq and their love for Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surat al-Fatiha.